bring her out because everyone will want to buy her a glass of jewelers and she'll never get home. <laughs> beginning they had not a clue the earth was as flat as the water was blue and the stars they were affixed to a dome and the sun was a warrior's chariot of fire on the run but then someone noticed the north star would rise in the sky as you sailed towards the pole and that's all you require to make a flat earth retire. Astronomy was on a roll. Well, fast forward a bit. You see Copernicus get an idea that could rock the whole world. He said, perhaps it might be. It's not you and not me, but the sun around which we all whirl. And the clerics cried, no. Until Galileo, he got his hands on his first telescope. He found Jupiter's moons floating round like balloons at the end of old gravity's rope. He had explaining to do to the Pope. That's all right, they worked it out. And then Hubble, he got this telescope, and you cannot believe how far that old telescope of Hubble's could see. And he found sweet Andromeda so far away. He knew we were nestled in this little Milky Way. Oh, but now we've got telescopes orbiting us. They're looking at the beginning of time. As galaxies coalesce from a great big bang mess, giving birth to a new paradigm. I'm watching this lunar eclipse through these clouds And I can see why in Bible times people could freak out As the moon turned red and then vanished discreetly Then turned red again and emerged quite completely It could all be a heavenly battle Where the blood flows maroon or perhaps it is only the shadow of the earth falling over the moon. Oh, the earth falling over the moon. 